This program is brought to you by Emory University. My name is Ajay Nair, and I'm the Senior Vice President and Dean of Campus Life at Emory University. I came to Emory a hundred days ago to pursue an audacious dream. That dream is to build a transformative campus life environment that enables every student at Emory University to leave her or his footprint on the campus community and our global society. Emory University is a destination for dreamers because of what I call the uncommonness of Emory. The last hundred days have shown me unequivocally that Emory is truly focused on dreams, on beginnings, not endings. I'm excited to revision campus life with our stakeholders over the course of this year and to build a campus life that is reflective of our values, our principles, and our aspirations. I've connected with many of our students, faculty, staff, and alumni, and participated in hundreds of programs and meetings. I've even begun engaging in a host of virtual connections through Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and other social media. Through all of this, I continue to be energized by our very special, uncommon community. The uncommonness of Emory University has been described to me as quirky, cool, courageous, loving, open, and wide awake. This cultural characteristic might be rooted in the traditions of our founding campus of Oxford College, which Dean Joseph Moon has called an uncommon place. One of the first uncommon characteristics of Emory that resonated with me was the idea of courageous inquiry and leadership, a key component of our university vision statement. Tim Downs, athletic director at Emory, said to me that our students are not spectators. They are participants, and he is absolutely right. The desire and commitment of our students to voice their concerns and opinions, no matter how unpopular, the courage of our students to be innovative and creative in their leadership roles, and the courage of our students to trust their community is refreshing, promising, and exciting to see. Leadership at Emory isn't just about having an important title. At Emory, leadership is about being a courageous change agent, and one of the roles of campus life is to recognize that all of our students are potential leaders, regardless of whether they serve in high-profile positions. Our Office of Student Leadership and Service is doing excellent work in this area, and we hope to continue to engage faculty in enhancing curriculum and building strong partnerships with Emory schools and centers. Through leadership and many other aspects of campus life, Emory inspires self-awareness in students. Maxine Green calls this wide awakeness. Green says that consciousness or wide awakeness comes from being alive, awake, curious, and often furious. To be a dreamer requires that you are sometimes furious. For many years, institutions like Emory worked towards moving the margins closer to the center. Today, our students are redefining that center, wide awake, pushing the boundaries further than our society is sometimes willing to accept. President Wagner has said that we strive to be a great university, but also a good university, a university that works towards a more vital integrity and that engages students in the development of their character and their intellectual curiosity. In the next few months, Campus Life will develop a vision for our learning community as a bridge between academics and co-curricular life at Emory. For instance, we will examine how spaces like the Duck, SAC, Athletics, sororities and fraternities, residence halls, and dining contribute to a collective vision of our learning community. We will move from a predominantly facilities-based model to a unified programmatic model that will help us create a framework for excellence for our learning community. One example of this is the Play Emory program. This program is intended to coordinate Emory's significant resources related to health and wellness through physical activity to maximize the impact on the campus population with regards to wellness education and lifelong skill development. This is just one example of the many opportunities that will emerge from our learning community. Perhaps our most profoundly uncommon characteristic is what Marshall Duke calls the invisible force at Emory. I see this invisible force, or school spirit, as a convergence of Emory as space, Emory tradition, and the very special people at Emory. That force lives within individuals as well as our collective communities, such as alumni and parents, who are part of our intergenerational community. 
It lives within our students who come from all over the world, our faculty, our staff, our neighbors, and of course, Dooley. Our collective and individual energy is intertwined with physical space. The chalkboard near the psychology building, the gates at Emory, the Miller Ward Alumni House, Oxford College, Lullwater, the Matheson Reading Room, the Quad, the Parlor at Dobbs Hall, Asbury Circle, and many, many others. I've heard from many of our alumni that when they visit these sacred spaces after graduation, they have flashbacks to key transformative experiences. They describe their experiences as similar to waking up from a dream. These spaces often remind our community members about traditions like Songfest, First Fridays, Wonderful Wednesdays, the Sophomore Pinning Ceremony, Emory Cares, Unity Celebration Month, Dooley's Ball, Dooley's Week, Homecoming, the Carter Town Hall, and visits from His Holiness the Dalai Lama, just to name a few, or they may be reminded of their favorite classes or community service activities. The uncommonness of Emory is our school spirit. But spirit cannot exist without an open campus community that allows us to have what President Wagner calls the impossible conversation, a university that places the greatest value on the freedom of speech, inquiry, thought, and lawful assembly. The division of campus life with Emory faculty and our other partners will lead a discussion this year examining the rights and responsibilities of our community members related to open expression, protest, and dissent at Emory. This spring, we will present our recommendations to the University Senate. It's clear that we are at a critical juncture in the development of our community. We have an unprecedented opportunity to celebrate the increasing diversity of our campus. And I believe our students recognize that to be a member of our Emory community requires courageous inquiry, dialogue, action, reflection, debate, and an acknowledgement that the core of our community will be challenged from time to time. Not because our community is weak, but because we have resolved to embrace our multiplicity and the porous boundaries that enable a free and open educational environment. The work of the Office of Multicultural Programs and Services and the Office of Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender Life, along with our partners in Emory Community and Diversity, will be the key to our success. In my first 100 days at Emory, I've been most impressed by Emory's intrinsic value of doing the right thing. This value is not designed to suggest that we are perfect. We certainly are not. But that even in our darkest moments, this value and our aspirational goals will help us become better, with the goal of serving as a standard for the rest of society. The Emory I have discovered, and continue to discover, even with this long, rich, and vibrant history, is coming of age now. This Emory provides us all with a tremendous opportunity to dream, and to dream big. And for that, I'm proud and so very excited to be part of the Emory family. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.